update from the U.S.-Mexico border where a caravan of Central American migrants hoping to seek asylum in the U.S. has hit a roadblock. A month-long journey through Mexico now on hold for dozens of migrants. About 50 people tried to seek asylum in the U.S. yesterday, but were not allowed to cross the border because officials say the facility is full. Earlier this month, the caravan was made up of some 1,500 migrants from Honduras, Guatemala and El Salvador. About 100 migrants now camping out on the Mexican side of the border, saying they want to seek asylum from persecution and violence in their homeland. Donald Trump has railed against the caravan in recent weeks and spoke out against the movement again today while standing alongside the leader of Nigeria. We need a wall, number one. And you see that right now, you know, where they are even though it's not a particularly good wall, and even though a small percentage can climb to the top, they have to be in extremely good shape. But uh, a small percentage can climb that particular wall. We have a wall that's much more difficult. But if you didn't have that, you'd have thousands of people just pouring into our country. you got to have a wall. And we need border security. And Trump also touching on North Korea today after revealing over the weekend that his meeting with Kim Jong-un could be three to four weeks away. As for where the summit will happen, Trump says there are a few options. Uh, we're looking at various countries, including Singapore, and uh, we are also talking about the possibility of the DMZ, Peace House, Freedom House. There's something that I like about it because you're there. You're actually there, where if things work out, there's a great celebration to be had on the site, not in a third-party country. From South Korea today, officials say they're removing the loudspeakers at its border crossing with the North. The speakers had been blaring news, propaganda and even pop music into the North for years until they were shut off as a goodwill gesture ahead of last week's inter-Korea summit. And North Korean media announcing today an official date for a time change. The regime will shift its time zone 30 minutes ahead to align with South Korea starting May 5th. The North state-run TV saying the move is a first practical step for national reconciliation and unity.